Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. Now, I have tidied up the base a lot. I've been doing quite a bit of digging because what I wanted to do is get my XP up a bit in order to be able to use the um, shoulder shuriken. So I've got the shuriken now and you, as you can see it's in my hotbar. So let's have a look. I basically removed a lot of the stuff underneath here and brought these two windmills down. So basically I've got one pile and windmill and then the dynamo on here which is then going across to another dynamo and coming uh, another pylon with a relay going down to this uh, capacitor which is full with 100 kif which i think is 100 rf or something like that i'm not exactly sure which and over here we did the same thing i've basically filled up this hoppers there so everything comes into this hopper and then set up the gearboxes i think i did that last time I'm not 100% sure, but what I didn't do last time was this. I put down some redstone here, and that's leading to a repeater. So when the, if this chime chimes, which it will do if it's over with, it will turn off the gearbox. And since it's been running without a problem, that must be working just fine. Um, and basically that's what I've been doing between the last episodes and today. I've still been getting attacked. Oh no, I've done a load of gardening as well. <laughs> Like this <laughs> so now I've moved everything so I've got the, the tank in the middle so it's go it's four by four in each direction down there so we've got plenty of um, industrial hemp coming along and I put these rows of lights down like this so you can see so, and I think they grow faster with the lights if I haven't put any on this wall because it's too far away but I haven't changed how I was doing the clearing out. I probably can do that now. Let's have a look. Where do I want to clear out an area? Let's say I want to clear out this area here a bit. So what I was doing is I was taking a block. It's not going to be so easy this one because it's a bit mixed. But we'll try it anyway. I'll take a block like this. Putting it on, say, here like this. And I'll keep that one in my hand. And then setting this to 3x3 three three mode. In fact, I was actually doing, I wasn't doing 3x3, three three, and then, or excavating it. Oops, with the brickets, of course. And you see that then removes everything that was in here, which in fact, in this case, was all. So let's remove, let's remove this one here and do the same thing again. It doesn't do different types of blocks when you do that. So let's put this one down. Don't need this one. And then do the same thing. And you see it removes this 3x3 three three area up to the areas where you can't go anymore, which is um, these. So that actually works quite nicely. And I was doing this all through the base. Let's do that again. Like that. So that clears up the, that clears up the floor quite nicely. And then you reveal a few interesting bits and pieces. With some ardite here. And I've got some cobalt over here, I think. Yeah. And I also put a roof up. Well, most of it anyway, not everywhere as you can see, but certainly over the this windmill. In fact, I could actually do a bit of clearing up here, couldn't I? Let's do that while I'm here. Let's put one of these down here. And as you see, it was a reasonable chunk of area. So I put a glass roof on here. The reason for that is to stop mods, mobs coming down, and also to prevent the um, the vines coming down because the vines will stop this from working so I did that as well so things are looking reasonably tidy not 100% perfect yet but they're getting that way and I was still getting attacked by embers that's, that's why that's why the shuriken so uh, so well used <laughs> I also put a diamond on the shuriken which increased its attack and the attack went from, I think it should tell me what the attack is, it says 8.5. I think it's gone down a bit. I'm sure it was 10 before, but anyway, maybe that's to do with other things. The ammo is quite low, 18 out of 137. So when I get the next modifier, and I'll put an emerald on it, we'll get some more stuff going through like that. So, today... What I would like to do, let's get rid of some of this stuff that I've got in my inventory here. I see I've got some of these. Don't want those with me. And I don't want the netherrack. And I don't want so I'll get rid of the netherrack. 
and we'll get rid of the overgrown netherrack. I think I'm putting that into here. Yes, I am. And then we'll start with doing the next part of the quest. Let's have a look at what we can do. I did actually complete one. I want to do the reinforced blast brick. Now to do that we need 27 reinforced black blast bricks and uh, two heat preheaters. Now these actually aren't too difficult. We can do those. Let's have a look what we need for preheaters. The preheaters this one. So we need lots of iron plate and an external heater. An external heater is no big deal, it's just copper coils. Yeah, we can do that. We've done that already before. No big deal, because we did that for the dynamo. And these ones here are just sheet metal, so it's basically four pieces of sheet iron will give me four of those. So they're not too bad either. And the blast brick is one piece of steel on top of an existing brick. So that's also not too difficult. I think that's this one. So one piece of steel plate on, a, on an existing blast brick. Well, we've got the brass bricks already, so we just need the steel plates. So I've put some iron into there, so that's starting to work. So the next thing I want to look at, let's go back to the quest again, is we probably need to do some light engineering blocks. One light engineering block. I don't know what we need for that. Let's have a look at it. Three pieces of copper, four pieces of iron, and these iron mechanical components, which is copper with iron plates. Okay, so it's also not a big deal, so we can do that one as well. And the one I did actually complete, was, I think I'd like to do start doing some industrial as well, because that's quite straightforward. The one I completed was Helio compression, I think. Nope. It was to do with stuff and things. Here we go, I completed the diamond build, builder's wand. So we might as well claim that and that. Diamond builder's wand, by the way, is very easy. It's just two, it's just two sticks with some, I've got one here, so look at the recipe for that. So it's two sticks with a diamond on the end of it. Doesn't even matter what type of diamond it is either. So let's open the, let's open the loot chest. So I've got two spawn pigs, basic. I think that will be good for later on. Where am I gonna put those two spawn pigs in here, I think? Oh, they do stack good. So that was, let's get on with doing this one because then we got some, then we have some use for doing the power and it's this one here. So we need an iron gear, which is four pieces of iron, a furnace, redstone and stone. We've got most of those bits. So we'll make the iron gear first and then the furnace. Now the furnace is nether bricks around iron. I don't actually have, have I got more iron than this or is it in the thing? I think it might be in here actually because I've been busy. Oh yeah, I got 62 aluminium, four iron, not so much actually. I thought, let's get those out of there. So we need four iron ingots. What have I got in here? Copper. And smelting in here is, oh right, plenty of iron at the moment. <laughs> Good. In fact, that actually that helps me because that's we can do that straight away then. So let's get the gear cast out. I know where I left the gear cast. I put it up on an item rack, didn't I? Let's replace that one in here. Like that. And then just turn this one on. We get an iron, an iron gear straight away. So making the iron gear last time was a really good thing to do. So let's just, uh, when that's completed, Let's take that out of there, it's done. Put that back on the rack. And then we can put back down the ingot mold here. And then turn it on again. So now we can get out of here the bits that we need. Great. So I've got plenty of um, iron. I thought I had, I was going, that's strange. Got plenty of iron, nickel and invar. So let's put those away into here. So we need to make another another furnace and that's basically I should have plenty of bricks around too because I was doing I went to visit the um, the fortress I don't see them in there it's probably not in there actually let's have a look so I need some eight pieces of netherrack let's just take out a stack of those that was two stacks wasn't it 
I heard the double click. So we make a furnace. Make eight. Well, I'll make eight of those, to be honest with you, because I think we need those all the time. Let's have a look for... Are they in here? No, I think it must be in here. Treated wooden planks. Leather bricks. Great. Let's just take uh, eight. <laughs> that wasn't very really clever, was it? Let's try that again. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Oops. Right. So we just basically put one of those and put this around it like that. Then we should have our furnace. We can put that one back in this chest area. Oh, wrong one. I have to put those in. So what do we need now? We've got that, that, and we need some redstone. One piece of redstone. Redstone's looking a bit thin on the ground. And the other thing was stone, wasn't it? Which is fairly straightforward, because we've got plenty of stone. Let's take out some out of there. In fact, I can do the crafting over here, can't I? And then we make that. So now what we've got to do is we've got to make some latex. Latex out of this. Now, how do we do that? It's obviously wood, industrial latex. Latex. Machine outputs. Yes, okay, machine outputs. Yeah, fine. Oh, I need 16 building. And I've got 11 XP. Well, have I got 16 buildings? I'll look whether we can do that one or not. 14. Okay. Well, we've got 15. Now we need to go up another one. So I have to go and do some either killing. Hmm. That's a problem. <laughs> so I can't use it at the moment. Anyway, it's good because I, I should be able to connect that in. Let's actually do that as well because I've got in here, I think I've put the bits and pieces that I need. So we'll need a connector and we'll need a wire. And then we should be able to power this up. That's why I've left those spikes, well, put those spikes down there. So what we need to do for this is to put it down, say, here. Oh, I can't put it down, can I? Because <laughs> I've got the building experience. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll just put that in this chest here until I can actually start to use it. Boots. Let's just take those. I've got some. actually got some quite good armour when I was out at the nether because I got attacked by... Um, I get attacked by. I got attacked by a, a giant magna a magma group, and I basically then got lots of XP and stuff from it. So let's have a look. What am I going to do with this? Let's have a look at this as well. What are the uses of these redstone ores? And I get a feeling we've got to use the crusher. Crusher will give me ten. I think that's probably as good as we're ever going to get. Four. That was the blocks. But that's not good. Six from the industrial crusher. so in fact this would actually give me two blocks which would be then 18 which is like even better but we need then con consecrated health concentrated health fire which actually we need we, we need to do that as well there's a lot of things we can do um, let's have a look see if we can I'm just wondering whether to do what I'm going to do next, actually, to be honest with you. Let's have a look at that. Press F4 and get, look at the core um, things again. So we've done that one. And then we could make an unbreakable builder's wand. Unbreakable wand. I think, I'm not sure what we have to use for that. Whether it's a probably uh, unstable ingot. So let's have a look at it while I'm thinking about it. Here we go. Oh no, much more difficult. Another stone. I'm not ready to do that by any standards of the imagination. We haven't got anywhere near getting nether stars. We haven't got any withers yet. Okay. Oh, yes, we're stuck on that one as well. What was the thing about this mechanical users? I think we might be getting near to that one as well, but maybe not to look at the mechanical user. 
Oh no. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, long way away from that one. In fact, the only one left is a soul shard that we can actually do at the moment. And I don't even think we can do a soul shard either. That's quite hard, I think. I'll check it out in a second. But we could make a resonator. Let's see if we can make a resonator. Copper ingots, blocks of redstone, and a block of coal coke. I wonder, have I got a coal coke with me or is it in the furnace? Might all be in the furnace. Let's have a look. That's chisel. I can show me chisel. Okay, I do what I'll tell you what I'll do. I need to make another tank. Let's make another tank because I've got too much stuff. So that's all. And I'm just wondering what the best type of tank is. We've got a rain tank, forestry. Ideally, I'd like to get a higher tank than what we've got at the moment. What we've got at the moment is just where well, I can't see it for the truck, this one. And this only carries four buckets. And I don't think we can do that at the moment. A singularity tank. And I think there's something else we could do. Porcelain gauge. Actually, a porcelain gauge isn't too bad. Seared window. Ah, yes, I'd like to do this, wouldn't I? Doesn't tell me what the capacity is. This one would be great. Stained glass, no big deal. Ironwood ingot from ironwood. So we'd have to get this raw ironwood materials, which is gold ingot and iron and liver, live root. I don't know where we get a lot of twilight forest. Okay, we're not going to get that for a time being. So I think we probably have to settle with this one, the porcelain gauge, if I can do it. So we need glass and some porcelain ingots. I think we've got porcelain ingots. So look. Indeed we can. Great. And then in this chest here I've got a fluid transfer node. Still got one or two left of those, which is good. And some transfer pipes. Ah, oh, yes, that's the other thing I did do between episodes. As I set up the same thing on the other tank downstairs or the furnace downstairs this furnace here i set up the um a little a little crucible making for us the uh, lava again so that's got full of cobblestone pushing lava into the tank so the tank's now full and i think that's also four buckets so it's not any better Now I'm hoping I can do this. I'm not 100% sure. But let's just see if it works. First of all, I'll take the... F it'll tell me straight away if it's going to work. Because as soon as I put this on here, it's filling up with creosote. So that means it's going to work. So let's put the tank down here like that. And then we can put in one pipe here like that. And then that should start to fill up. Which is great. Because that basically means it's going to carry on making um, cold coke. Because the rest of the cold coke's in here, and I see I've got 23 and not enough cold coke. Okay. <laughs> Getting stuck in all directions at the moment, aren't I? So that's now full. And we can actually take that with us. Pickaxe. So that level lead given a bit more capacity, so we need to get some more coal, actually. I think I need to get some coal. Let's go and get some coal. And I think I lost one. Of, oops! I think I lost one of these interdiction torches. I think that was done by them when I was got attacked by that magical mob. I got attacked by a magical ember, and you can see on the mini map now there's just two approaching me. So let's get on and put this. I put it in here. This tank. It retains the fluid, so that's good. 
we can use that for crafting. In fact, what I can do is put this down, can't I? Let's put it down where these other ones were, because that's not a bad place. Okay, so I need to get some redstone. Oh, where's those mobs? Let's get prepared for those two. Are they above us or below us? Maybe they're above us. Oh, there you are. And you actually pick them up again so you don't lose them too much. Where's the other one going to? There you are. That was just holding down the right clip. Got one of those two before they start attacking me when I'm doing things, which is great. And I got another inferior essence. I don't know how I can use this inferior essence, to be honest with you. I'd like to get some some magical crops going. But the next thing I think we need to get on with is um, I wonder if we can do an induction smelter. So I'll look at this again. We've got 4 XP, it's not enough to do what we wanted to do. I shall move these out of the way, in fact. Don't need those in with me. That's all that. Give that just a sword. So let's have a look at the quest that we can actually do. Okay, that was an old one. So we could do this. I'm just, yes, that's right. Iron casing, great. We'll do an iron casing, that's dead easy. So let's get the hammer which we've got here and then four pieces of iron. And I can't see iron on there to do it this way around. So I'm going to actually do all 32 of these. So now we just make one of these. four iron things so that should actually then complete that quest did it not complete it iron casings one so I'll double check what I've just built oh iron sheet metal <laughs> oops okay it's probably similar I guess let's have a what Block of quartz. It's a bit on the expensive side, this thing. Sheet metal. Chopping block. Soap. Bloodified chopping block. Oh, okay, soul forge. Okay, so we need to go for the soul forged anvil. Actually, that's quite good because that's something I did actually want to do. So, Soul Forge Andal is some Soul Forge. Let's have the other one. This one. So, we need six, seven pieces of Soul Forge steel, which is made by. in the a stroke called uh, Crucible. And we need charcoal, we need a Soul Urn, and we need an Iron Ingot. So, those. or, or dust. So, they're not too difficult. We can do that in the grindstone. The soul urn is by made by putting... I thought we should have got a soul urn last time we did this. Because it says it throws out of here. So we've got to make another filter topper. So let's make another filter topper. And I'm having difficulty seeing it as usual. Like this one. So we need two more gears. I'm going to make several of these. I think we'll make f eight. And what was the other thing? It was some plates. Um, let's get rid of those. Four. 
So now we should be able to make those hoppers. Let's have a go. Make three. Probably run out of something. I probably run out of corners. We can make quickly go and make some corners. Let's go and take some wood with this. Let's go into this chest and sort it again because we've just used up some of the stuff. This one. But for the time being, we can make the the filters. So we need three salt sand and some ground netherrack. Now, ground netherrack I've already prepared. Any trouble is remembering where I put it. <laughs> Here we go, round another rack. Uh, so we've got the hoppers, and we just need three pieces of soul sand. I shall take all six of these. So, of course, I'm going to do this down here because uh, the height of the ceiling isn't so high, except for here. We'll just do it here then. Now, if I remember right, I have to put these the soul sand into these like this. No, I have to put them down and right click, don't I? Forgotten. Yes. Actually, I can put all six soul sand in there. Good. Now, it says I should get, if I put these into here like this, and we throw them in from too far away. <laughs> we have to put it with the noise. So I've got some more, but I haven't got a soul down back. But that in throws this out. Hold on, am I doing something? Eight. I've got to put in eight. I might have to try this way then. Maybe I'm doing that wrong. Let's put one down here. And one down here. Let's put into those salt, some fair salt sand, and put some into this one, some salt sand, and then we put in eight. There we go. So I think we just put in eight, but I don't know how to get them in. Do I have to do it the other way around? Yeah. Let's just stand on top of this one and drop those down. Last time I did actually get something back. <laughs> I'm having to pause while this noise dis until this noise disappears. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure how to do that. I don't remember it being so difficult. You can't put it into that. I'm sure you put this into here. Because that shows up as the filter. Tell you what we'll do. We'll drop all 24 down like that. Hmm. Well. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, I've got this hellfire dust now. The hellfire <laughs> dust we have a use for anyway. <laughs> mm, that's a bit strange. I don't know why I don't get these cell lines back. There must be a trick for this. I'll have to look it up between episodes. Or maybe somebody tells me that I can do it the other way around. Now, the use of this. We can make these. So we smelt these up and we get eight will give us a cauldron concentrated. So we need 24, which I've got. So I've got here. 
and that will make three ingots worth. So obviously the place I'm going to put that is in here. Oh, I've got some glass in there. Good. Let's put those into that. Yes, yeah, so I was making lots of glass for the roof. Is that working? It doesn't look as though it's working. I don't know what I'll do. I'll leave that in there for the time being. Oh, maybe I didn't check it carefully enough. Let me just double check that recipe for Hellfire. Um, where's the filtered hopper uses? Oh, it goes in the cauldron. Okay, that's the reason why it's not working. Cauldron's up here. I probably should move this down now. And we just wait for those to do whatever it does. So it'll take a while. And they come back into here, so we don't need to worry about this. Now, the other things I'm going to do is prepare the other bits and pieces. If I can get back into the base, of course. Right, now. So. We need this, and we need a stroke cauldron. Our stroke cauldron is this thing here. So we need... I don't know how to get the soul urn. Must be a way. Soul sand, soul dust, sawdust. You throw in eight, you get that. And it doesn't say there's a chance, does it? It just says it works. Hmm, okay. I'm sure I'm doing it right. I'll have to double check it. So, the next thing... Oh, actually, I've got one of those in. Somewhere I've got some Hellfire dust from before. This one. We can put that in as well. I'll give us another ingot. So what I need to do is to make the stroke cauldron again. So what we're going to do is make a second cauldron. Because it's the same one that we have to use in both bits. And I'm having difficulty finding it again, of course. Cauldron. Ah, there we go. Oh, bone. Yes, we can do that, no problem. But no bucket of water, no problem at all. As you've got plenty of water, I think. And bones, we should have bones, yes. Bucket of water, buckets. I might have left them in this chest, that's my dump chest I'd have, yes. When I come in, I go and get go in there and pick stuff up. We need a bucket of water, a bone, and I think the other thing was stone, wasn't it? Oh, copper ingots. Okay, we'll do it over here then. We will have enough copper ingots. And toward, that's the same cauldron as normal, but what we have to then do is we have to make a hibachi. And the reason I know this is I did a lot of this when I was doing um, Forever Stranded. Now, what's the hibachi look like? It's a bluey thing. <laughs> This one. Ah, oh, we need to make a heating element. Stone and redstone. Heating element. We've got everything we need for that. String, redstone and, and blaze powder. String, let's just take one string out of here. And we'll, every once in a while I'm taking this stuff out of there and just doing something with it. I'm putting it away in that chest over there. So now we need the heating element. So let's get time and do that one. I'll oh, have to do that in the cauldron. Okay, no big deal. Okay, that should actually be finished. We've got those and we've got one redstone. Let's go and put that into the cauldron. And sure enough, those are done. So we need that one, that one and this string. 
and that should cook up. So we've now got our three concentrated hellfire ingots. In fact, what we actually need, I think we need nine hibatches. But I'm only going to make one to start with because it takes quite a while to make this concentrated hell, um, hellfire ingots, which we'll do. I will do that between episodes, I think, because that's just, you've seen me do it once. And doing it more times is just wasting time, really, isn't it? How long is that going to take? Just about finished by the looks of it. Indeed it is. So now we should be able to craft up the hibachi. I do find my memory serves me right. Hibachi is basically a, there we go, it's a Japanese um, cooking device. Grill, I think. I probably got that wrong. <laughs> So let's put the battery down, say, here. And then we put the cauldron one block above that, I think. So we'll just put down a block. A block of wood would be best, I suppose. On top of it, I think it goes one block above. And then we can put the cauldron on top of this. Like that. Then I can remove this one. Let's get that axe out again. So this, this thing's always repairing itself because of the wooden handler. And I'm not using it that much anyway. Now when I give this a redstone signal, it should produce a blue fire. I think that's how it works. There's no, there's no, there's no interface on it, so you don't see anything. So we just need a redstone signal. I suppose the best way to do that is a lever. I should have a lever in here, shouldn't I? Got two. Let's just take one of them. Double check I didn't pick up a, an unlit torch because <laughs> they look very similar. Oop, just walked over my spike again. So I'll put the lever down here like this and turn it on. Then that should go blue after a period of time. When it, I think it should do. But maybe I need more hibatches for that to actually work. I ain't too sure. So in between now and the next episode, I'm going to make some more of these hibatches and see if I can figure out how to make soul urns. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.